Hey everyone, welcome to another video series by Solid Shell Security. And this one is going to be about Cacti. Uh, for those of you who do not know what Cacti is, Cacti is a graphical monitoring application that's built into the web browser. We're not exactly built into it, but is used within the web browser. And it is used with the SNMP protocol, which is a simple networking protocol, which is from like the 70s and it's now up to version 3, version 3 offering um, an encryption service with op authentication using a username and password. Before that it was just version 1 and 2 which did not offer any type of encryption. Not that the system has any um, major reasons to actually offer encryption but just for the added security and some of the more advanced options that you can do these days, the security is also nice. And depending on the device you have, you will, will have the ability to either use version 3, otherwise version 2 is typically the default unless you have something that's pretty old and the only option you have is version 1. So what we've got here is, I'm going to show you some examples, is on a local network we set up, we have the firewall, which we've placed under this t uh, tab. And this entire tree you can actually build and create in whichever way you want. I mean, you can have subnodes, subnodes. Um, you could have um, it broken down into subnets. You could have it broken down into rooms or offices. You could also have like a tab that's strictly a, a disk monitoring one and have all the disk uh, graphs under one tab. So it's very, very flexible as to what you want to monitor and how you want to monitor it. So you have a lot of customizations that you can actually do. Uh, just for this one, we decided to put the network under this one, which was a switch and a firewall. And as you can see with the firewall, uh, we can see the inbound and outbound connections. And if we want to go, say, to the switch, we can switch over to the switch. Now, most of these are not exactly up and running. Um, also, some things are not actually technically supported, so we don't really have the CPU with this one. Um, but with this one, we do have some of these switches, which we can see. And there's a few blanks in there, but most of them are not exactly active. Now, this one here is a Windows 8 machine, and we can tell that we have two users logged in. And the amount of process is running, we can also look at the the CPU usage on each and every CPU, which is about eight CPUs. We have the Ethernet, we don't have a floppy disk, and we have the videos on disk activity, as you can tell. And once again, this is another graph which does um, the disk. The thing about Cacti is it's open source, which means everything you see is customizable from the colors to how everything is presented. So what you're doing is you're going to be downloading a bunch of different plugins, templates, like this entire bottom half here is one template, you know, which gives you the ability to, you know, view the networking, um, the CPU, in a different manner than the ones that we had at the top. And this one here is a, is the, one of our web servers that we have actually running right now, which I believe is the blog server. And the way we did this one is, you know, just to mess around with, was we had, um, we were just messing, messing around and we just decided, okay, we have the main network and, you know, the, the main websites and we broke it down into the, uh, the web-based service, the system service, like, you know, the processes, the memory, then we also had the MySQL. Now the MySQL one is really, really nice because we can look at the amount of connections we can also take a look at the queries and if you want to see the query cache, now this is actually a pretty nice one I mean we had this actually begin at zero I mean you can also click on the graphs and you can actually get a um, you know by the minute, five minutes and this is by the the week here as you can see it kind of went up, went down, went up, went down so you can actually kind of recognize some trends in this but you've got a lot of options because it's continuously logging to the, the MySQL database so you always have all this information as you can tell. And if we go to the the web service here, which is Apache and Nginx, 
I don't know, this one is kind of weird. I have no idea exactly why Apache has a CPU spike on the hour, but that's kind of interesting. I don't know how accurate that is, or if it's like maybe just a um little glitch with the, the plug in there. But as you can tell, we've got Apache, and then we've also got Nginx here that you can see, so it's pretty cool. And if we just go to the main system, you know, we can look at the disk usage, we can look at the system load, um, no users logged in, memory usage, we can look at the ping. Now this isn't like all of them, um, I kind of actually stopped, I didn't actually use the, um, the SAR that, that typically comes installed with the CentOS or Red Hat system. Um, the reason is I stopped because I didn't actually feel like setting up like a um, the SSH keys. So when the system logs into the system, it can pull in the the data. So that's the thing about using systems like this is if you're going to use it, um, not everything's being broadcast through SNMP. Like I didn't even bother setting this one up for the local node, but but when you're working with it, there's a lot of we'll call them agents that you can run or the actual services like Apache, Nginx, MySQL they have their own statistics system built in so what you have to do is you have to log into them on MySQL you log in through 3306 you just have to configure the user to allow remote connections and have MySQL allow remote connections and Apache it's basically as simple as using the uh, built-in status page that they have you just have to allow access to it remotely mm. excuse me and Nginx is the exact same way like Apache you just have to make sure the status module compiled that's typically default with Apache I believe in all the installations unless you compile I think manually but I think it's still in by default and Nginx so as long as there's the process has like a um, monitoring system you can actually developing code a script that's going to log in grab it you know simple bash will do it you take the information then you pipe it into a template so what we've got up here is I mean there's a bunch of different templates that you can actually download I mean as you can see this is like a simple um, script that they're building so this is what it's kind of like so if you wanted to monitor uh, a service that there's not a template built all you have to do is like do something simple log in like here you go, it's like all it's doing is grabbing the information, logs in, it pulls it, sends it back, then you just throw it into a template. There's like a bunch of different templates. I mean they can get kind of complicated and interesting, but that was the continuation there. And this was the Apache stats we were using. And this was also a nice one that has all the CPUs into one graph. You know you can also do a DNS server, you know, if you want to mess around with that one. Um, this was what we were using for Windows. Windows, you actually do need to download a um, SNMP agent, we'll just call it. And then this was a contract one, which is actually pretty cool. If you were using um, IP tables with contract installed on a Linux machine, this is I've not used this one yet. I've not played with this one. We've not used it since we're still playing around with the cacti. But as you can see, there's a lot of different options. Um, that you can play around with. Now of course they do have their official templates which can in fact be downloaded which have a lot of um, a lot of options as you, as you can tell. Then you can also use plugins. Like if you wanted to have like auto host discovery you could use the discovery plugin. Um, there's a lot of different plugins. There's a lot of options. Like if you want to use um, syslog you can use the syslog viewer and you can pull the syslogs in. So you have the ability with Cacti to actually create your very, very own monitoring system based on what you want to monitor. So it's not like you have to use everything. You can actually fine tune it to actually monitor what you want. And then you can lay it out how you want to use it. Now just to give you an idea of what the... Uh, the interface looks like so we'll go to console real quick if you have plugins the plugins are going to show up at the very top here and they'd be like their own little tabs but if you want to like a new graph you could click here um, as you can see we've got our little devices locally we've got 
um, you know, the graph management. There is a learning curve to cacti, that, which in the later videos we're going to show you how to actually, you know, create the graphs, set the graphs up. But there is a little bit of a learning curve to it because a lot of this can actually get kind of confusing. Then you have the devices, but all in all, it's not too difficult once you get the idea behind it. It's just basically a matter of you adding the device, you know, configuring everything. You know, then pulling in the data sources, then creating a graph on that data source, and then adding it to the graph panel that you want. Um, like here we have the graph trees, you know, we have the network one, and we've set up the switch, so we could uh, do an add, we could say, okay, we want to put this under firewall, you know, we can make it a header, a graph, or a host, and give it a name. So we have a lot of control with how we want to lay the tree out which is really nice if you really want to configure everything so maybe you have one tab for every system or as we did with the the web hosting you know with the blog server we just had the MySQL under its own little tab and all that was underneath the web uh, tree there so you have the ability to configure how you want to do it so it's very very flexible it's very very open it's very nice the one thing I really have to say I don't like about Cacti so far is it's very community based which means you're limited to what the community has to offer as far as graphs and templates and plugins unless you really feel like actually going out there and actually trying to code and, and make your own and getting a whole developer's viewpoint on cacti now if you want to do that you know you can but me I personally don't really have the time to actually figure out how to graph it all I mean I looked at the you know XML templates and stuff like mm, I don't I have no intention of trying to learn that so I'm pretty much at the mercy of what the community has built up and what the community offers and you know, I've got to hope that the stuff is recent enough to actually still work and even though some of the stuff is like from 2010 or something I actually haven't really had too many issues with the stuff um, it all seems to be pretty fine now some of the scripts I've had to make some modifications here and there to work for my needs but that's really simple. So overall, it's not a bad thing. The community is pretty pretty active. Um, Cacta is a really really commonly used application. So if you're really looking for something to mess around with and get an idea of how things work, I would I would definitely give Cacta a try and go from there. Um, when working with these SNMP type monitoring systems, you typically don't know what you want until you start actually playing around with them and you see what you want you're going to find your pros and cons with each of them you may use more than one um it really does depend so I, I definitely encourage you guys to try it out but all in all it's not too bad um you do have user management so you can create different users um you know it's really really nice but i really haven't found anything i strongly dislike about it I mean, except for maybe the lack of graphs. Um, I haven't really found some of the graphs I was really willing to find, but it is better than nothing. So that's pretty much the summary of, you know, Cacta in a nutshell. Um, so that's really that. Stay tuned, we got some other videos coming up. We will be doing an installation of Cacti in one of the next videos and how to configure the plugins, how to add templates, where to find the templates, how to um, configure everything. I also will say that with the graphs, if when you install things and you configure the graphs and you add them for the first time, give it about five minutes to actually graph everything. If it's still not showing after 10, you probably have something misconfigured because what I've noticed with all, pretty much all graphing systems is you need about five minutes for it to get the data to graph the data and to push the data onto the graph so I'd give it about five minutes and if you still have nothing you probably have something not working correctly but it does take about five minutes so that's about it um, subscribe follow us find us we've got cool stuff coming and thanks for watching guys